What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video and I'm just checking in on you. How you doing? What's going on? Now today is May 1st and this is going to be your Cassie Mendoza and Danny Weaver weekly vendor reset and must buys. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. But before we get to Cassie Mendoza and finally Danny Weaver, we have to find the snitch. So here is the My snitch location that I found today. My coordinates are 1945 by 4641. And all I did was uh, fast travel to the DZ East Charlie checkpoint. And then I just went outside to this building and the snitch was on the second floor. Now pick up the bounty and you can go to your map and actually save that bounty. Now because my open world difficulty setting is on heroic, I can save this bounty and have all heroic bounties to go back to later on. Now, because we just found the snitch and uh, have the Gunrunner's location, there we go, we have to find the two white shopping cart icons. The first one right here, Cassie Mendoza, looks like she's underneath the uh, castle settlement. And Danny Weaver is pretty close by. He's right outside of the Air and Space Museum. All right, so we'll go to Cassie first, and then we will double back to Danny Weaver. Now, I hope everyone is having a great uh, week so far. Do the manhunt, please. Please do that manhunt and um, get all the stuff, do the story. I am going to be doing another video about the um, ending and all of that today. So I, I think giving like a good 24 hours before spoiling it, like just straight on is good enough. So look forward to that later. We're gonna deep dive into the ending of year five story wise and then we're going to talk about theories and where this could lead because that ending was insane not only that but there's a new backpack trophy that i have to show you guys as well and i hope you enjoy but first we need to make our way over here to cassie find this guy over here doing push-ups yep he's still doing push-ups all right go through our art gallery there we go and Cassie Mendoza is right here. So, timestamp it, do whatever you need to. Here is your Cassie Mendoza. Weekly vendor reset and must buys. Here we go. Checking out this fine now, starting off at the top, we have the named items. And your first disclaimer is, if you are new or returning to the game, the bottom two named items you have to unlock first. So, to unlock the shield splinterer, you have to hunt down and eliminate all of the year one hunters and open up the ivory chest that is at the base of ops. Once you do that, Cassie will sell this every week thereafter. Now I am still doing hunter videos, um, and I believe it, what is it, Hunting the Hunters is the series that I made on that, so look forward to another episode of that while uh, we help you unlock both the Shield Splinterer and Hunter Killer. Which leads me to the other one, Hunter Killer chess piece. This is the named Golan Gear chest. And to unlock this one, year two hunters, so that is all the hunters that is connected to Warlords of New York, hunt down and eliminate all of them, and you will receive this chess piece once you open up the off white chest that is at the Haven Settlement. Now, uh, opening that, Cassie will sell it every week thereafter, and here we are. So, starting off at the top, we have the Artist Tool. This is the named rifle with Perfect Rifleman. And this week it comes with crit chance. Crit chance is not the best attribute for that. I would go damage targets at a cover or damage to armor if you want to pick this one up. Following that, we have the sacrifice. This is the named Providence defense chess piece with perfect glass cannon. And this one comes with repair skills and health. I would not touch that one. Horrible. Uh, the shield splinter, you already know how to unlock it, but... Uh, this is the named F2000 with Perfect Optimist, and this week it comes with Reload Speed. However, the AR and health damage is high enough to where you could just recalibrate that Reload Speed off for, say, damage to targets at a cover or damage to armor, and then just optimize the AR or health damage. And finally, we have the Hunter Killer chest piece. This is the named Golan Gear chest with Perfect Intimidate. 
And this one comes with health and headshot damage. Now, moving on to the gear set items. We have a maxed out Heartbreaker backpack. Pick this one up right now if you like Heartbreaker and you do not have a maxed out backpack. Pick this one up and recalibrate the health off for whatever it is you want. Probably crit chance, crit hit damage, headshot, something like that. But what makes the backpack so sought after is that talent cold. So this doubles your bonus armor you get from Heartbreaker. So that's how people are getting 200% bonus armor because of this backpack. So having this with the max armor, all you have to do is recalibrate the health. You get whatever you want, and it's fully god rolled. Perfect. Pick that one up right now. Heartbreaker. Following that, we have a rigor chess piece with skill damage. Okay. Foundry bulwark gloves with skill haste. Hunter's Fury knee pads with crit hit damage. These are good. Really good knee pads. Pick these up as well and recalibrate the core attribute. You can either max out the weapon damage or later on you can switch it to an armor core. But you want that with crit hit damage. Pick these knee pads up right now. Foundry Bulwark Holster with crit chance. Not bad. And Rigor Mask with armor regen. Okay. Moving on to the high-end items. We have a military RPK with swap speed and bread basket. Following that, we have a SOCOM Mark 20 with max swap speed and steady handed. A 5.11 backpack with armor regen, health, and wicked. And finally, Richter and Kaiser knee pads with hazard and armor regen. Looking at the mods, we have skill haste 10.6 and shield holstered regen of 4.5. Now, must buys things to look for from Cassie Mendoza. Uh, let's see here. So... As far as the named items go, none of them are really that great. Not this week. For the gear set items, the Heartbreaker Backpack, perfect. It is. That's a good one. The Hunter's Fury Knee Pads, also perfect. Good one. Uh, maybe Foundry Bulwark with Crit, if that's what you like to run with it. Maybe. Maybe go like an all-red Foundry build. Ooh. That'd be sick. I might do that one day. Let, let me know if that interests you. If that tickles your fancy, maybe a all-red foundry build? That'd be sick. And then, um, let's see, the high-end items? No, nothing here either. Okay, so long story short, just the gear set items, Heartbreaker, Hunter's Fury, and maybe Foundry Bulwark. Okay, so that is it for Cassie Mendoza. A little bit of in the morning, not bad, whatever. Happens to all of us once you have your morning coffee. But let's jump over to Danny Weaver, because that is uh, where my focus usually is on Wednesdays, because I get to use my textiles, and we usually get like some exotics or something for it. So let's see, see what we get for our textiles this week. I wish that we could get more, even if it's just like crafting caches or something like that. I mean, I have well over a quarter million textiles. So I just wish we could just spend them somehow, even if it's just for, like, materials that, you know, aren't really that valuable. I still want to be able to transfer my uh, textiles over. All right, here is Danny Weaver. You can timestamp it, do whatever you need to. Danny Weaver. You want to make a deal? All right, so this week he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven caches. Um, two optimization and two crafting. So four out of the seven are just materials. Eesh. One exotic, one named item, and then one Vanguard cache. So that's only four gear items. That's only four items, period. Eesh. I mean, whatever. It's better than nothing. I'll pick it up. But uh, as far as getting like items and stuff... That's very low. Let's see what I got. And also, uh, comment down below what you get out of your caches. I'm only going to open up the ones with gear because I'm pretty much max on my materials. All right, exotic. Vial. Okay, whatever. Uh, the Vanguard cache. Proxy M16. Okay. And finally, the named item. Invisible hand. All right. Fair enough. So that was your Cassie Mendoza and Danny Weaver weekly vendor resets and must-buys for today, May 1st. 
I am Kamikaze Von Doom. If you found this video helpful or informative in any way, shape, or form, please hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing, and I do daily Division content, so make sure you ring that notification bell. That way you don't miss a single Division video. But again, I'm Kamikaze Von Doom. Take care of yourself, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.